Hello and happy Sunday, folks. I am kind of pseudo just waking up. I've been up for a moment, but I have been in the process of checking in and packing because Candace and I are going to be traveling tomorrow to go visit my family in Corpus. But I didn't want to neglect today. Not, not only is today Sunday and it's, you know, the day that I plan and I work and I do all this other stuff, but it is also my two year anniversary, which means that I have been crazily enough working for myself for the past two years. And in my Instagram earlier today, I told or in the captions, I talked a little bit about the story of how it all came about and how it happened. And I just wanted to give those creatives who are looking for or looking to do it themselves, leave their, you know, nine to five, their day job and make a living doing what they love. I just wanted to give you two to four little tips and tricks that I did before I actually made the decision. So like I said on the post, the first thing that I did was I, I talked with my, my wife, my partner. Um, this is super important to me. It was super important to me, not because I necessarily needed permission, but because I needed her to have my back. I wanted her to be a part of the process. It was going to affect us. It was going to affect the kind of lifestyle that we were used to living. And I wanted to make sure that she was 100% on board because she's my life. And without her and her support, I wouldn't be anywhere that I am today. And so it was important for me to get her on board and then also to get my parents as well because I knew that they were going to be the ones that were going to be there and have my back when shit got really hard. And I think they're about to do some kind of power washing down here. Uh, the perks of living right smack dab in the middle of the city. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit quicker than what it is. Okay. So number two is I would highly recommend planning for it. Duh, obviously. I mean, you don't want to make this kind of leap without having a plan, but also don't plan too much because there is, there is planning sometimes stifles creativity and it stifles the flow. And so while I highly, highly recommend that you have a plan, you make a plan and you stick to your plan, whether that's, you know, you're going to work for six months, you know, save up, a, a, you know, a thousand, you know, a hundred, whatever nest egg you need to make it happen, but you have a plan, you stick to it, but then allow that to kind of come and go because yeah, I had a plan, but did I necessarily stick 100% to the plan? I didn't. So have a plan, but use it as a soft guide. I really feel like that's kind of like the, the life ideal anyway, right? It's just to use whatever goal or plan you have as a soft guide, not a rigid, absolute way of, I have to do this. It has to be done this way. If it's not, then, oh, well, fuck it. I'm not doing it right. So the final tip that I wanted to say is kind of along those same lines is, you know, give yourself some breathing room. Give yourself some space to let all this process, you know, ebb and flow. Give yourself time. Bleh. Oh my God, the coffee has not quite kicked in yet. Give yourself some time to financially get yourself financially secure. So I had paid off when I left my day job. I quit. Um, when I quit, I had paid two months of all my bills in advance. So that created a financial leeway, which was extremely important to me. But then you also want to create breathing room within your life. So whether that means you go before you leave and declutter like everything in your life or not everything, cause that would be a lot of hard be difficult, but you get the point. Like decluttering your space, your, you know, home office workspace, your creative space, just so you come in in this fresh and new light. And I would also take that into decluttering your mind. And what I mean by that is getting yourself in the right mindset is a hundred percent of the battle of working for yourself and creating, uh, 
for yourself. So the final thing that I would say in this whole leeway is you got to give yourself leeway, right? You have to give yourself some slack. Like you have to cut yourself some slack. This is going to be probably one of the hardest things that you will ever do only because the systems that are in place, the society that we have in place is not built to support us as non-traditional creatives, as others, as, you know, people who do not fit the dichotomy and binary of what a American life should look like. And so I think probably the most important thing is for you to create slack, leeway, and love for yourself as you go through this process. That is probably my number one battle. And it's a constant and ever, it's a war that I have to rage with myself every single day that I wake up. So I hope this has been pseudo helpful for you and served you in some way. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. DM me. I am an open book when it comes to my creative process and my creative life because I want it to serve as a blueprint for you to help to help you create yours. Okay? I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. Wish me luck in packing and cleaning Simon. He's not gonna be really happy because he's about to get a bath and he's like, whoa. So I love you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.